The Vivo Nex is a gorgeous phone with a 6.59 inch display that's truly bezel-less. Unlike the iPhone X, the Nex achieves this design without using a notch. This makes for an amazing visual experience. The Nexus screen has brains to match its beauty. The fingerprint reader is built under the screen like the Vivo X21, but it's even faster. Instead of front-facing speakers, the screen is used as a speaker for phone calls. However, regular music and video playback use a bottom-firing speaker instead. With such an all-encompassing screen, where does the front camera go? Well, it's actually built into the phone and pops out the top when you want to take a selfie. Adding a moving part like this may make you uneasy, but the mechanism is sturdy and unlikely to break, even up against the strength of my finger. Its dual rear cameras take pretty good photos and low light performance is decent. It has portrait mode, but background blur can be a hit or miss. In normal use, the Vivo Next easily lasted a day and scored one of the longest times in our video loop battery tests from this year. Its speedy performance matched up to other flagship phones with a similar processor, such as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. But all is not perfect with this futuristic phone. The Vivo feels heavy in the hand, probably because it has a selfie camera parked in its garage. Another drawback is the poor attempt at cloning Apple's iOS software, which Vivo calls Fun Touch. The interface is almost identical to an iPhone X, but things like gestures aren't as intuitive. The biggest downer is that the Vivo Next is currently limited to a few countries, specifically China, Russia, India, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and Taiwan.